Hello and welcome everyone. Now in this video we need to draw the projection of a line which is inclined from one plane and uh, the information that is given to us is the line is 60 millimeters long and its end B is 20 mm away from HP and 30 mm away from VP. So this is the location of one end point of this line. Now this complete line lies in one quadrant. So that means uh, that the line, the projection of the line will be in one side of the xy line either up or uh, upward above or below okay it will not cross the xy line now the next information that is given to us is that uh, this line is inclined to horizontal plane at 32 degree and is parallel to the vertical plane now let's uh, consider let's draw a line like this okay select a line Now suppose that this is our xy line. Now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to draw the location of one point. So uh, suppose that I'm talking of uh, we are provided with one uh, distance of one point B from HP and VP. So I'm going to draw this particular point only. Now this point is 20 mm away from HP. So if the line is in first quadrant basically this 20 mm will be the distance of point b here like this okay let's place this point like this and change the point type so that the point is visible correctly instead of 5 use it 4 or 3 use the size 4 or 3 okay so this is our point b okay now we have two scenarios the point a basically the line length of line is 60 mm and uh, this particular uh, line it is inclined to the horizontal plane at 32 degree okay so uh, the line can be inclined like this or like this okay so i'm going to use uh, the length of this line as 60 and angle as 32 degree so one scenario is the line will be drawn like this so let's close it and another one is at the rate 60 is the length of line and angle is minus 32 so in that case as well uh, the line will be drawn like this but what is happening in this case if we take the inclination of 32 degree on the opposite side what will happen the line will cross the xy line take a look at this particular con condition that the line lies in one quadrant only so it simply means that the location of this particular line it should be uh, basically the angle that we are taking it should be positive 32 degree okay so that is something that we are going to consider now let's move this text a little bit away so that uh, it does not interfere with our drawing now so let's draw the line start from this point now take the distance as 60 units and angle as 32 degree so this point this will be the point a okay so this is the front view of this particular line now let's write these uh, points so use multi-line text now this point is b so basically this is uh, the front view so we'll write it as b dash let's uh, decrease its size to four units place it like this then just copy it and paste it here to make it point a okay so this is a dash so this will be the front view of this line now the line is uh, inclined to hp but this is parallel to the vertical plane so it means that the uh, top view of this particular line will be a straight line parallel to xy line so i'm going to draw the projection line so use ray command to draw the projection lines started from here like this and we are done now this point v this should be uh, 30 mm away from vp so select a line start from this point and 
along this line go till 30 units press enter and join it horizontally so this will be the uh, front view so, uh, sorry top view of this particular line okay so i'm going to copy them and paste them here so this one will be your b point not b dash let's move this from here to here and this will not be a dash this will be point a okay and we are going to use trim command in order to remove the non required portion and let's uh, increase the line weight for the projections okay so this is how the projection of line will be drawn in first quadrant okay so this is the scenario where the quadrant is first one now that is something that we have placed for first quadrant now for second one what will happen basically front view will remain the same okay so uh, i'm going to use ray command to mark a reference like this okay so this front view will remain at the same location what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy this front view for the second quadrant so select copy command take this as the base point and place it like this so this is the front view so uh, we do not need to worry about that now we will trim the non-required portion from here because these are the things that we don't need okay this xy line is needed no doubt now this ray command also we are going to trim it so front view we have drawn when the line is in second quadrant okay let's keep it here only control c place it here move it a little bit now this point is your b dash point now this uh, top view of the line it will shift above x y line now how much basically you will have to uh, this particular distance of point b it should be 30 mm so it will basically shift at this particular point okay so i'm going to copy this so select copy command specify this point this one as the base point and place this line here so this will be the top view of this line when the line is in second quadrant and i'm going to paste the notations here so i hope it is clear now we have not uh, placed the points so let's place these points properly so that everything else is clearly visible now points are not placed here now if you have drawn the projection for first and second quadrant of this line uh, in order to draw the projection in uh, fourth quadrant and third quadrant you simply need to create a mirror image so that mirror image we are going to place here later on so i'm just extending this line like this now let's place the uh, dimensions okay so select dimension specify this then uh, specify this distance start it from here this one now this dimension we although we don't need but we can place it here if we want now angle as well we need to place so let's place this one this one now select angular dimension so this is the 32 degree angle now this one as well we may need to place it so i'm just placing it here so th these are the projections that we needed and that we have drawn now select select the angular dimension right click select similar so angular dimensions are selected right click and select similar i hope uh, okay uh, two more dimensions are remaining that we are going to place so place this dimension 30 it's done then 20 it's done okay any other dimension nothing else now select any one dimension and one angular dimension right click and select similar 
and we are going to change the color of these dimension instead of by layer let's uh, select a different color now for uh, xy line i'm going to increase the thickness of this xy line so that uh, it's properly understandable this is our xy line now now i'm going to extend it as well then for uh, these projection lines these are projection lines we are going to uh, change its color as well so let's consider orange color now for this one select similar and use reddish color so basically uh, this is the projection in first quadrant so i'm going to place a name here control c control v now this is the case when the line is in first quadrant so write first quadrant then just extend it a little bit copy this and paste it here and this is the case of second quadrant so second quadrant now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all of this then create a mirror image and specify a mirror line that is parallel to the xy line and do not erase the source object now these two cases they are of third and fourth quadrant so i'm, uh, I'm going to move it using this one as the base point and simply place this point on this xy line and basically these are the cases now this case is of uh, third quadrant so write third and then this one is of fourth quadrant and this one will be fourth just move these above the xy line and i hope uh, this particular drawing is complete use trim command remove this excess line we have not mentioned the xy point here control c control v instead of first quadrant this should be replaced with x increase it to 6 place this x near this line copy it and place it here and just change it to y so this is how we can draw the projections okay uh, we basically just use p type command <coughs> and increase the point height to 4 so all the points they are clearly visible now so i hope uh, okay let's increase this text size as well make it 4 okay no double click control a increase this text height to 5 uh, let's make it 4 first So this is the question. Now uh, that's all for uh, this particular question. I hope you guys have learned something new today. So that's all. Thank you very much and have a nice day.